Hi guys, this is Morgan, and today I'm sitting down with Brad Korb with the Brad Korb Real Estate Group. Um, today I kind of just wanted to get his story and how he got started in his journey through real estate. So Brad, how long have you been in real estate and kind of what got you into it? How did you get started? Thanks, Morgan. I've been in the real estate business now for over 40 years. I got into it a long time ago, just you know, <laughs> a brief time ago. <laughs> um, one of my one of my family friends told me I should go in the real estate business. At at, at that time, I was working in uh, fast food management, and I had a dream of opening up my own sandwich shop. And I was working with a bunch of people, you know, at the when you're working for a fast food in a corporation, they pay them all, you know, minimum wage. So the challenge was a lot of the people that were working there, if they were late, they didn't care. They would show up. Um, they wouldn't come in. They wouldn't show up. They wouldn't call in. They said they weren't feeling well. It's a, so you'd be there working an incredible amount of hours. And then you, you know, it just is very discouraging when the people wouldn't show up and wouldn't call. So I thought, you know, this is really something that I really didn't want. I had a passion, but because of the work environment, I no longer had the, the passion for it. So one of my great friends told me, hey, go in the real estate business and you'll love the people you work with and you can help people. So that's what I did. I got in the real estate business 40 years ago and just here we are today. Awesome. Congratulations. So Thank what you. were kind of the um, early frustrations that you had as you started getting, getting into it um, in those first couple of years? Um, basically, when I got in, I was very young. So people didn't want to work with someone that was very young and looked you know, very immature. I mean, I was 21 and <laughs> I was said you were, looked like you were 16 or 17. So I couldn't believe that I was in, in real estate. So that was a big challenge. Number one, being, you know, being so young in the business. And then, you know, I didn't have any family, friends, you know, or people, my peers that were ready to buy yet. They were just basically just getting out of college. Um, so they weren't ready to buy. So I just, you know, I had to really go out there and, and work. It just, you know, I had a lot of hard work to get where I want to go. But I, did, I knew I did not want to go back into the fast food and open a restaurant and be in fast food management. So I had the, you know, I had the inclination. I was going to do whatever, whatever it took and pay whatever price it, it took to become ses- successful in the real estate business. Yeah, that's awesome. So what were some of the kind of tips and tricks that you used um, to get through those struggles and get through those frustrations? You know, I, I hung out with people that are doing more business than me. So always find yourself a mentor someone that's doing more than you and where you want to go and look for them for tips. And just, you know, people were telling me, you know, at that point in time, you know, have open houses, you know, and you basically go out there, you'll meet people, you'll bond with them and they'll, you know, want to work with you. So that's, you know, that's what I did. Um, back in those days, we had what was called the Haynes directory, which basically you just call people that lived on the street and you can, you know, it'd be very hard to do that today because of no call list, but, you know, that was what they taught you way back then and, uh, and before the internet days where here's your book, make phone calls. So I made the phone calls. I knocked on people's doors and I had open houses. And I was just, you know, people that met me knew that I was going to work hard for them and do a, you know, do a great job and take amazing care of them. So that was my plan was work hard and take amazing care of them. Awesome. So going from um, kind of that fast food chain business to real estate, when did it click that um, real estate was something you wanted to do for the rest of your life? I would say within probably six to eight months, um, because I really enjoyed the freedom of talking to people. And you got such a satisfaction with helping people, you know, you know, buy their first home, you know, they just basically, you know, they didn't know what they're doing, you were helping them with all the paperwork. Um, and it was just fantastic helping them do that. And then when clients were selling the properties, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. And just to be able to give them my expert advice of, you know, what to do to get their house ready for sale and get the top dollar, you know, gave me great satisfaction to have, you know, clients that were just, you know, really happy with my service and I was taking care of them. Good. So now kind of fast forward through your 40 years of being in the business, you have a really solid team now and you've really grown. Um, So what was that process like of starting your team and what were some of um, kind of the processes or frustrations that came with being the team leader now? Um, You know, the reason that our process and I grew, grew the business and grew the team is because after being in the business for so long, I was getting more and more clients and I couldn't help everyone the way that I thought that they should be helped. So, Mm -hmm. you know, I, you know, basically hired on some, you know, team members to work with me to, to help take great care of the clients. So 
as, as my business evolved, my team evolved. So that was a great thing that we were doing to, you know, basically make sure that the clients were getting the utmost in care and service. Awesome. So what have you kind of, or what are some of the things, I guess, that you have learned throughout your whole transformation of starting at a sandwich shop to now being 40 years into real estate? Well, the business has changed drastically, which is really, really nice. I, I tell clients you can be an, an agent, you can be green and growing or ripe and rotten. So there's always going to be something changing and growing in the business. And that's a neat thing. You wake up every day and what's going to be new in the real estate business and the real estate world. So it's, it's fun, it's exciting, and it's exciting to help, you know, the agents here uh, mentor them and show them, you know, what to do to become successful. And, you know, it's a, it's a new world. It's a new day. Yesterday's the past. It stopped at midnight. Today, you open the, the day up and you, you get a present. You live in the present. Today's the present. And you open a present with every single day. So it's a great new day to look forward to. Awesome. So my last question for you, um, what advice would you give someone that's kind of in your shoes at the start of this interview, someone who's just starting, um, what kind of advice would you give to those newer agents? I would just say, just go out there and find someone that you can, you know, can mentor you that has some caring and compassion for you and that can lead you along the way. So you can be a very successful agent. There's, you know, there's a great many ways that you can become successful Find someone that you like, you know, like talking with, working with, and they will help you become very successful. It's, I enjoy doing that and helping, you know, agents here on my team every day. So there's someone out there that can help you grow your business to where you want to get. You just got to find the right person that's going to do it for you. Yeah, totally. So if someone does want to get a hold of you, what is some of the best ways that people can get in contact with you? Thank you, Morgan. I would say the easiest way is, you know, either to send me an email or give me a call. We'll set up a time we can get together and chat. It'd be my pleasure to help them. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, thank you for sharing your story, Brad. We will talk to you next time. I look forward to it, Morgan. Have a great day. Bye for now.